right guys welcome to another video with big boy grizz he is getting huge uh in this video i'm gonna do a complete guide on my take on now monitors all right let's get started all right so when it comes to housing uh when starting as a baby uh i'm gonna set him down for a minute when starting as a baby, you could go anywhere from literally from a 20 to 50 gallon. This is what I did with Grizz, and this is what easier when it comes to taming um, and cleaning their cages overall. Um, but I, I like to think 1.5 times their body weight. Uh, body weight. Uh, Grizz has a 8x4 cage, which is sadly I can't go any bigger. Um, this place, I could literally just fit an 8x4 cage inside here. But if you could do 9 or 12, highly prefer feeding uh these guys will eat anything and everything besides fruits and vegetables um i'm gonna let him kind of just do his thing um i wrote down a list of a few things that you could feed as a baby to a dope um such as bugs um such as like crickets doobie roaches uh madagascar roaches uh worms from super worms to wax worms but you want to kind of limit that a little bit because they're high in fat but um other other things that i wrote down is fish chicken uh eggs um what you could do is go to your asian market and just get a bunch of this stuff such as like shrimp and everything um you could go turkey um and then obviously you have your mice and rats depending on the size of your now monitor um, other things that you could possibly get is um, healthy organic dog food such as like a hundred percent chicken um, I found this like, at a couple of like local shops but I mean you could just get some chicken but that's feeding so let's move on to the next all right lighting and heating so I'll make it short and simple you need your UVB lamp basket spot those are two most important things his cage, um, what I did was I put the UVB and I just attached it onto the top. Um, but the basking uh, lamp is actually from Home Depot. And, you know, I was doing research on using different lamps. You don't actually have to go to the reptile store or pet store to get your expensive $15 bulb when you could go to Home Depot and get like a three or $5 bulb that's, that will last longer too and it's hotter. Uh, especially when they get a lot older when they're a baby i guess you could go to PetSmart or petco and get your basic uvb lamp and you know heat bulb but over time you're gonna realize that you need something that's more durable and that's what i recommend um keep their temperatures roughly around the basking spot roughly around 100 degrees the overall temperature in the in their cage is going to be you know roughly around 80 to 90 degrees and that's just around the basking spot you know as the day goes by when nighttime comes in it could drop from anywhere from 70 to 80 degrees all right water uh really important with these guys you know besides drinking water too but uh they love water if, you, if you've seen um some of my videos or follow me on instagram you'll see grizz just completely right relaxing in the bathtub and this is what you're going to use um you see him he's trying to get back in his cage uh what was that what was that on um but pretty much short and simple uh something that they could submerge themselves in um you could use storage containers which is really good i went to home depot and i bought a big old tub um i guess it's in a painting section where they put paint in but it's a really big tub that you that i use for his water tub but you can use anything um, those are just a few things in mind. All right, lastly, training and taming. Right, I'm gonna give you some tips, just, just my advice. All right, so a few things I wrote down is start young if you can. Um, if you have a glass uh, enclosure, always walk by it um, just so he or she gets used to you. Um, also, have patience, you're going to get bit after about the first year, a year and a half. I constantly kept getting bit. Um, also, this brings me to my other tip was do not use gloves. I used to see a lot of people handling with gloves, but your nail monitor is going to get used to your scent, your hands. Um, 
so I don't use gloves. This is just my advice too. I mean, you know, as a baby, you know, you could withstand getting bit. It's it's not hard. I mean, you know, it's very tiny and small and it doesn't hurt as much. I feel as a big guy like mine. So let's move on. So another thing is put some of your clothing in a cage, especially as a baby. This is what I did. Um, when you first do this, you're going to notice that your now monitor may not want to go near your clothing inside this cage, but it's fine. Eventually, it'll build its tolerance up and get used to the scent. Um, this is what I did. Also, another few tips are clean it often. You know, every day I'm constantly in this cage, just fixing things, moving things, cleaning its water, um, you know, wiping the poop, taking it out, you know, stuff like that makes a big difference. Um, I think that's it. Um, also, you don't want to be in an environment where it's too stimulating. This is why I often, you know, give the advice, you know, start in the restroom, you know, use water as your friend in the bathtub, turn the shower on and just kind of play with it a little bit. These tips goes a long way. I did this since he was a baby and I'm still doing it now. And I mean, he's tame. I don't know where he's at now, but see, there he goes right there. Just being social. Um, all right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the my complete guide of Now Monitor. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below. All right, you guys. Take care.